Well, I would start, Michelle, by saying thank you and our partners and everybody back in Seattle for covering the team so well. This is impressive. There's a lot of people here, and I enjoy answering your questions. Now, what I would say, the emotions that I have are I'm so happy for those fans that are out there. I'm tremendously proud of that group of players, and it is fantastic. I am so happy for this club and for the people that are involved in the club. We talked about your game plan a little bit yesterday. Is it fair to say that you guys executed that about perfectly? Matt, we devised the game plan, the players executed the game plan, and we ended up winning the game. Coach, do you, found the, do you find the conditions to play this game? You said that uh, you didn't, didn't accept that uh, Saunders was the underdog. No, I think we were the underdog. Look, if I can speak about LAFC now, I mean, they statistically had the best record in MLS history. That is a tremendous team. Bob does a great job. Ante, all the guys, that is a, that is a great, great team that we just beat. So it's, it's hard for me to say, you know, okay, the underdogs, we didn't message it that much. We wanted to play them, you know, the way we could. But certainly they were the favorites. And they were deservedly the favorites because in this new playoff format, they earn the right to host these home games. And winning away from home is a challenge, which is credit again to my team. They withstood a lot of pressure and a lot of, you know, nerves there after LAFC scored the first goal. It was not an easy game. So you have to credit LAFC, but you also have to make sure that you give my team the same amount of credit. What do you like most about how your team fought back after conceding that first goal? Well, we, we never stopped believing we could win. You know, our mentality is always been strong here at the Seattle Sounders. We always have a winning mentality, and, and it showed tonight. We could have gone into a shell. We could have, we could have just sat back and accepted that we were going to lose, but they didn't. They found a way to score the equalizer. Then I think the second goal stunned LAFC a little bit. They're like going, okay, what's going on here? This shouldn't happen. And then the third goal was icing on the cake. Plus, look, at the end of the game, I mean, I wish knew who would have scored. I mean, Brad had a couple chances. I mean, maybe we would have scored another. Raul well, Rodriguez gets a brace today. Can you talk about his performance? Which one, the defending or the attacking? All of it. He was very, very good. Worth every cent we paid for him. So he was great, scored the two golazos, but his defending late in the game, his defending middle of the game, whatever we asked him to do, he did. And that's what I appreciate about Raul. He's a very team-oriented player, and I love that. Because sometimes forwards sometimes can be a little selfish. But he is a team player, and he did everything he could to make sure that the team won today. What is it about his mentality that allows him to come up in big games in playoffs like he has? Well, it's the, right same, as, it's the same as everybody else. They all want to win. That's a, that is a proud team in there. They are proud to wear the Seattle Sounders jersey. They are proud of the work they've done in a, in a very challenging year. This was not an easy year by any stretch of the imagination. And so we still have one game left. Need to make sure, remind everybody, this isn't a championship. I'm going to go in there and tell them that they got training on Friday. <laughs> so we have to get back to work because it's, it, we're not done yet. Coach, what was the game plan? You said you executed the way you wanted to. Well, I can't give away secrets. Okay, but look, we wanted to push LAFC into the areas where they were less effective. Okay, and so that was the entire game plan just to see if we couldn't slow down their attack. And then on the attacking side, we knew we could create chances against this team. We knew we could. They take many risks when they defend, they're counter press, you know, they, they take risks. It's a chain reaction. One guy presses, the next guy has to go, the next guy has to go. And our guys were well coached. They did exactly what we needed to do to get into their half of the field and create very good chances. Do you have any team playing against uh, Toronto or Atlanta? Come on, of course. I mean, we'd rather be at home. We would rather be at home in front of our fans. That would be a very, very good thing for, for our franchise and for our fans. But of course, we will just be happy we made it into MLS Cup, and we obviously will be watching TV tomorrow. <laughs> It was mutual. No, look, Bob is a competitive guy, so am I. He was very respectful to me, and I hope that he feels that I was respectful to him because he is a great coach, 
and I would never ever disparage any coach in this league, even the ones that aren't here in this atmosphere. There are very, very good coaches in our league. So I received texts from many of the coaches congratulating me, and I think our coaches in this league are very complimentary to each other, and I appreciate that in Bob. Three Western Conference championships in four years, let's say about the club player staff. That means we're a pretty good club. Coach, you talk about the next man up, uh, Nicolas Madero, your captain. How important is his performance in these, uh, especially these games? Well, Nico's been next man up since 2016, since we, since we signed him. Uh, but look, this is a team sport. Nico was almost coming off the field because he was cramping in his hamstrings. So we were going to take him off, and then Brad went down for an injury, and then Nico was able to gut it out and still stay in the game. So, you know, again, it's testament about how Nico is a good professional, does everything for the team to win. So I was very proud of him. You've always given your, your players credit, but you've also talked about keeping your uh, bosses happy. This is the third uh, <laughs> cup. What does this do for your legacy and your time here in Seattle? Well, it just means I have a really good coaching staff in Gonzalo Pineda, Jimmy Traore, uh, MLS Coach of the Year, Preki, and Tom Dutra. I have a tremendous team, a team that never quits, never stops fighting, never gives up. And I'm very fortunate in the job that I do, and I'm very happy in my job.